All right, we good. What's up, y'all? Flex Slayer, Alex Slayer, Toledo Soldier, whatever you want to call me, on this YouTube thing. We back at it again. Last video, if you saw it, you saw me unbox my CMG Cuban Link chain that we have right here. You saw how excited I was. I was so excited I couldn't even give a detailed description about the specs, about anything like that, man. So let's get to it. Battery's low, so we're gonna try to finish thing up real quick. All right. So first things first. CMG links, man. Uh, there was a bunch of different uh, places you could go for a Miami Cuban link. You know, I was looking for a chain. I've always been a jewelry collector, you know. Like, I got my little chain. This is my first chain I got. A little flat curve or whatever. Just, you know, I, I've been doing my thing about jewelry. Uh, watching all these different jewelry channels and whatnot. And then, you know, I decided one day I had the money. And I just didn't want to get a bunch of small pieces, you know what I mean, a bunch of nice small pieces, I just wanted to get one solid new chain, because my previous chain, if you saw it, is this right here, it's an Ocean Link, uh, Gucci Link, whatever you want to call it, this is 8 millimeters actually, this weighs like 32 grams, 14 karat, you know, this is 22 in length, and this is a beautiful chain, this is like my everyday, for like two years straight, you know, I love this chain, but uh, you know, I just felt like it was time for something different. So, switch it up. I, uh, wanted to get a rose gold. So I thought I'd get something different. So, basically, so I went on, I was looking around on YouTube about all these different places in, uh, Miami or whatever that make official Miami Cuban links. Because, obviously, if you want an official Miami Cuban link, you don't want to get that from Miami. Am I right? So they got a bunch of different places. I'm not really gonna name, you know. But uh, what made me decide on CMG was like on all these reviews on these other places. There was people that it's 100% good, or uh, it's you know what I mean, or it's like not they're not 100% satisfied. It's always something like that, which is obvious. It's either one or the other. But I just always consistently saw people saying something bad. Oh, the lock, the links aren't straight. Some, some. But CMG, I've never heard one bad thing about the people or the products. So I decided for myself, alright, let's get it. So I guys, let's check out the specs on it, man. There's a rose gold. I know, it's, for some reason, some different lighting, it's it's hard to tell. Like, when I hopped out of the shower yesterday, I was wearing it. And it looked straight up yellow. I was like, this is yellow gold. But nah, definitely rose gold. Uh, Cuban link, this is 7 millimeters. Uh, 7 millimeters, 20 inch length, 14 karat rose. Let's see how much it weighs. Let's see how much it fucking weighs. Actually, I can tell you right here, because when it comes in the mizzle, they give you this carb. I'll get to that. I'll get to that. Let's see how much this thing weighs, just so I'm, so I'm 100% right. Alright, this thing weighs 82 grams, like, flat. Like, 82 flat. So, which is dope, because they originally told me it was going to weigh, like, like, 78 or, like, 77 grams or something like that. So they gave me these extra grams, literally, for free. I didn't pay any extra for it. They hooked it up. So that's the specs on it. You know, this is how it looks on it. I'll put it on in a second. But uh, the ordering. So uh, when it came to order, I bought this March 3rd. And then it didn't, and they say on their website, give it four to five weeks. Uh, it took mine from March 3rd until, like... Uh, when was it? From March 3rd till April 26th. So, yeah, it is a, a long time to wait or whatever, but you gotta understand, man. These are like the best Cuban link makers ever, man. Like, these people have been doing this shit for a decade. Like, for fucking, yeah, decades, bro. Like, making these Cuban link chains, bro. If you just look on their Instagram, you look at all, all their uh, pictures on the post, they literally only got like two or to three people max, like, working on all these chains, bro. Like, they upload. 10 different chains every every other day like they're all hand polished and hand twist and hand doing all of these bro so like don't rush them i know you, you don't want your your necklace you know right away but just be patient man because you don't want to rush perfection you don't want to rush these people so that's how long it took um i can't lie when i hit that fourth fifth week i was ready for it i was like you know real excited for it because when you buy some shot line you want that you want it to come the same second. Like, the next day, you're, you're waiting outside for the mailman, you know? But, um, yeah, so I contacted them. 
I, like I called them and then the lady was telling me that it's in the last process or it hit like maybe the sixth or seventh week and, and I called and I was like yeah can I just get like a uh, an update on where it's going and she's like yeah it's in the last finishing process like stages so you should get within the next week or week and a half like those two weeks went by and then I decided to uh, message them on Instagram and he let me know right away what was going on he let me know that they were just a little bit backed up and he actually sent me pictures of the chain before uh, they filed it down which was really fucking cool because I got to see like exactly what process it was in and I just got to you know be like my, my chain uh, so anyway alright so that was the ordering I contacted them they were hella fucking nice they let me know what was going on he sent me pictures of before it was filed and then after it was filed too so uh, and he let me know you know it was shipping out within the next few days or whatever or like the next day and then it was it was right here in the mail um good things about it man it's just like when I came in the mail you guys saw my reaction I was I was ecstatic man this is like the number one this is definitely my daily chain of what I'm wearing every day right now fits perfect I love the 20 inch the lock locks in very nicely clips it's the other side it's this side and if you, if you follow CMG you know they stamp their uh, their box with like a cigar logo and I originally thought if I'll show you I originally thought the cigar logo would be like right here on that box on the outside but it's really on the inside of this folding part I don't know if y'all can see that probably not with this fish eye lens but that's where the cigar is at and then on this part right here stamp 14 14k um this chain is damn near perfect it is damn near perfect so what's not perfect about it let's talk about it um honestly is the most like small it was the smallest little thing it's uh with these they call them number eights with the number eights the uh things that lock the uh the lock there i noticed that one of them you know when you pushed it in it clicked in a little bit harder than the other one i can't remember which one it is now because there's a video made by like some guy that tells you exactly how to fix it. you just get like some uh needle nose pliers preferably not you know with the gritty part and just kind of grab that part and like lightly 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 squeeze and uh it'll kind of like tighten that lock and then you kind of play with it and, and it'll adjust so that is the chain that is the chain <sighs> i love this chain man like if you guys are iffy about getting one and you're a big fan of jewelry you know you'll make the money back or whatever eventually like get it dog like trust me because this thing i'm gonna wear this three years from now whatever and it's still gonna be damn near three thousand dollar chain and that, i guess i didn't talk about the price which you can't quote me on because gold always fluctuates so it might be cheaper one day it might be more expensive the other day you know what i mean like two years later if gold shoots up like crazy it might be like a hundred more dollars or something for this exact chain so don't quote me on the price and don't yell at them if they don't give you the exact price but this chain cost me just under twenty eight hundred big price yeah big price is my most expensive piece of jewelry but like it's also one of my favorites man because it matched perfectly with the rings that my girl got me he's checking out my other video i got my right actually got a pinky ring rose gold with a microscopic princess diamond in it you probably can't see it and then my wedding band basically we're not married but you can say that we're basically so got those two rose gold and this is like my everyday little setup just right there so if you guys have any questions please let me know you know i'm i'm a i'm a cool ass nigga i'm not like these other jewelry people ask me a question and they never get to you so you know me Cuban link. I like to flip it like that. And I just like having the box show. I just like having that box. Even if I, I tuck my chain in, I'm like, let me have that box show on. For some reason, I like having it show on the left side. Just 
how that little box look, you know? And for anybody wondering, this is what uh, a real box log looks like. These were handmade in Miami. Nobody can't tell me shit. This ain't no real Miami Cuban link, nothing like that. Like, look how thick the like. That's probably the thing that surprised me the most is how thick the actual links were. Like, the width is nice. You can get that in like a flat curb. Like, like my Puff Mariner right here. This is actually eight millimeter. Like, it's thick. It's wide, but this is actually a hollow chain. So, honestly, this way is thirty two. This way is eighty two. So there's like. Big ass difference. You know what I'm saying? That's like 50 grams difference, right? 60 grams difference. Oh, I can't do math, bro. 50 grams different. Like this definitely this feels like paperweight now. This is like over an ounce and it feels like paperweight when you compare it to the other one. But you know, the th the thickness of the links, that's like what make what solidifies it. It just makes it it gives it a heavy like drop. Just gives it that real thick look. But by sitting on your neck, you know? Here, let me put this Johnson on. Like, that's the that is, that's the look people try to go for, you know? You see all these people? They got a, a big budget they didn't save up long enough. And they're just trying to have to look real quick. So they try to get these... You know, and, and hey, all power to them. But I'm just saying, I want an official, like... This is gonna last me for the rest, of, you know what I mean, for a long ass rest of my life. You see that presence, man. You see that. So, let me know what y'all think, man. Rose gold, seven millimeter from CMG Links. Do not go to these other people, man. I'm just saying. The A. I've never shot with them, so as a matter of fact, don't even call me. But look, like I was saying, this is what an official box link looks like. They cut off the chain when they're making it. They saw this part off. Shit, what am I doing? They cut that. Like, they just cut a link. And then they form a, uh, like, box. They get a little gold plate with boxes. They put like that. Put a link in between. And then they file into all this other shit. And that's what that thing looked like. And then it locks in by this folded piece of gold right here. Hold up. See how it's folded? It's like, it's like that. So it squeezes in like, shh. So then when you press that button, it squeezes it closer and slides it out. Locks in, squeezes it out. That's when you hear the click. That locks it itself, honestly. But to extra secure it, which I always recommend, put them locks in. And you'll be good, man. I'm just looking at this. It's a work of art, man. I'm telling you. Definitely get it. You will not regret it. CMG links. Let's get it, man. I'm definitely going to order from them again. And uh, I recommend them. If anybody can afford it, I'd get it. That's it. I'll see y'all later.